Hey, what's up guys? This is me, the ITK HQ, and this is going to be the full uh, comparison between the iPhone 6 Plus and the iPhone 6. So, we'll be taking a look at the size difference between the iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus, and we'll also be comparing the specifications of these devices. Now you can get these handouts or these cutouts from the internet. I'll leave the link down below from where you guys can print these out and you know cut it and use it and test out the new iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. All right, so this is basically uh, the iPhone 6. This is a 4.7 inch screen. It's got an A8 processor, M8 core processor, one gigabytes of RAM, eight megapixel camera, and digital image stabilization. Now since this has got it's got a 4.7 inch uh, screen, so it's got a 1330 by 750 resolution display, which is good for 326 ppi. No, this is a 720p HD uh, screen. Next we have the iPhone 6 Plus. So the iPhone 6 Plus has got an A8 processor, M8 core processor, one gigabyte of RAM, eight megapixel camera, and it's got the optical image stabilization, which is not available in the iPhone 6. Now, the 6 Plus get, uh, comes with a 5.5 inch screen. It's got 1920 by 1080p resolution. So, it's, again, a 1080p full HD retina display. And it's good for PPI of 401. Now, let's talk about how, you know, the, the screen sizes really feel and uh, how big really are these two devices. As you guys can see, the 5.5 uh, the inch is on the left hand side and the 4.7 inch iPhone 6 is on the right hand side. And as you guys can see, the 5.5 inch is really quite huge. Now, this is basically a comparison between uh, these two devices uh, on top of each other. And as you guys can see that the 4.7 inch actually kind of, uh, is, kind of starts and ends uh, within the screen of the 5.5 so we still have good amount of screen on the right hand side of the 5.5 inch or the iPhone 6 plus left so really when you compare these two devices the 5.5 is really huge now uh, this is the comparison between the 5.5 inch iPhone 6 plus and the iPhone 4 which has got a 3.5 inch display as you guys can see the whole display can actually fit into uh, the screen of the iPhone 6 Plus. So as you guys can see again we have good amount of um, you know we have got a good amount of screen and the phone left on either sides so the 3.5 inch is really small size. Alright so this is the 4.7 inch iPhone uh, 6 and as you guys can see again uh, you know it's it's got a little bit of uh, space towards the left hand side a bit of tiny you know, screens on the uh, left on the left hand side so this is essentially how it's going to look like and uh, this is the S3 case and the iPhone 6 fits into it perfectly so there's no worries over there. Alrighty so guys um, what do I feel about these? Now it's great both these devices are great the increased uh, screen sizes are appreciated however the 5.5 for me seems a bit too big as you guys can see I can't reach the corners and I really have to move around the device to kind of get to the top. So for me, 4.7 inch is the better choice. However, the 5.5 inch is a really neat uh, screen size. But for me, I'll go for 4.7 inch. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys leave a like down and also comment down below. And let me know what you guys think of this. And uh, make sure you guys also tell me which iPhone have you ordered or you are going for. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.